Brock Lesnar! Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. That was a dominating showing where we saw the beast Brock Lesnar just annihilate his opponent. That's what Brock does best. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Those ominous bagpipes, just a warning of the destruction yet to come. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew. This match is going to be a display of Drew's brutality. That seems to be the story for all of Drew's matches. That's just the Scottish psychopath's true nature, Cole. A tiger can't change his stripes. Has a tiger tried therapy? McIntyre takes credit for the destruction of this shield, for eliminating Kurt Angle from WWE for a period of time. No fear in the eyes or the heart of the Scottish psychopath. One of the most intimidating individuals you will ever meet inside a wrestling ring. Say hello to the top 1% of WWE. And his opponent, weighing in at 231 pounds, EC3. He's had a bit of trouble adapting to the main roster, but EC3 remains in amazing shape. He's in the top 1% of conditioning. EC3's been quoted as saying, to be the man, you have to beat this tan. He's in the top 1% of tanning. EC3 finally won a title in WWE when he became 24-7 champion. He's in the top 1% of 24-7 champions. Oh, wow. And right into the action. Wasting no time being the aggressor here. I, I, I can't hate on this strategy. Drew McIntyre has proven to be one of the most cruel competitors to ever enter a WWE ring. Small wonder they call him a Terminator. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. These competitors have been unloading on each other since the bell. Just looking for that window of opportunity. And now might be the time to seize the moment. Now's the time to keep the pressure on. Deadlift powerbomb.
Oh, what are they doing here? All the way out. Sit out, Gord Buster. Drew McIntyre made him pay there. Close line. Now. He's been put on the defensive. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Boom! What impact! Byron, what's a strategy that you'd employ against the top one percenter? Michael, I had a few matches against EC3 when we were both on NXT, and even though he was egotistical back then, he's somehow more deranged now. A guy that into himself can often let vanity take over and lose focus on a match. EC3 doesn't get distracted. His reflexes are in the top 1%. He's like a cat. The only way to beat EC3 is to be in the top 9 tenths of 1%. Knee right to the midsection. Look at this raw power. He in a little bit of trouble now. He's not looking great, but never count him out. Oh, oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. Gotta respect the strategy to work over the arm. Oh, McIntyre just launched his opponent. Overhead, belly to belly. Now oh, look at this power. Ah, oh, gut buster. McIntyre's just so dominant. This is what he feeds off of. Short clothesline hits its mark. You got to feel for EC3 looking beaten down at this point. He's totally out of it. Nobody's home upstairs. McIntyre looking to close out this matchup. Oh. Claymore kick. Glad I put my money on that guy tonight. Two. Oh, man. He's... Drew McIntyre gets the win. McIntyre just showing is stronger and hungrier than anyone in WWE. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre.